There's always a passion, but there's an intensity. Um, and people always know what he wants. It's unfortunate. Well, it'll be more unfortunate if I take my team off, won't it? Well, let's do something about it. You can't play with the same colour. If passion and being committed to a football club and, and winning games is, is a problem, then I think I've got the same problem myself. People say, you know, uh, cut him and he bleeds claret and blue. He is um, Burnley through and through. Okay, come on, Sam. Let's look, Ralph. Let's look, Ralph. Come on, you two. 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 He's always there for the lads. The lads are in trouble or the lads need something sorting out and he'll always be there for the lads and, and to me, you know, that, that counts for a hell of a lot. Uh, well, I wanted the goalkeeper to go away on a week's uh, training course any case, you know, a goalkeeping course. Yeah. Because what we'll be doing this week is just getting the legs going, big style, you know. He's a bit of an eccentric, um, but he's, you know, he's good to work for, you know, you know, you know what he wants from you. And if you, you don't produce it for him, he, he lets you know in no uncertain terms. Clive, get down, give me ten double foot jumps. Too busy talking and not listening. Get them done. Obviously, he's a disciplinarian. Obviously, I think he has to have control. I think he's honed his methods in from all his experience over the past 25 years. He wears his heart on his sleeve. What you see is what you get, and uh, what you see is what you get is very, very good. Big fan of Stan, uh, absolute star, best thing that's happened to Burnley Football Club for what, five, six years? Terrific, yeah. Morning, how are we doing? This is Stan Turnant's nerve centre at Turf Moor. It's where he works on the three T's, team, tactics and transfers. Monday morning. He's preparing for a major event in the football calendar. His players' first full day back in training. Football's a team game and Stan's PA, Angela, is part of that team, helping with a demanding job. Have you had a good holiday? Yeah. The, um, there was a delay on the plane, they couldn't set off for three hours, so we sat the wrong way. Did they, uh, did you get done for it? It's more difficult than it's ever been now. You know, it was a culmination of things that come into the equation. It's a very time-consuming job. Good morning, Stan. It's Daz. Hi, Daz. How are you doing? Hello, Stan. How are you doing? A good weekend? All right, thanks. Good. Just a quick call on Monday morning to see if there's any news the from Financial me. implications. Um, this is the second season now without the, uh, the money we were promised. So it's important to get through this season. But there's a change in wind blowing through football. Obviously, the better players in the Premiership, uh, they still got the big bucks. But there's a lot of clubs up there who have felt a pinch as well. So. We've run, the chairman and uh, the board have run the club properly, and uh, hopefully we'll be okay. At the training ground, Daz the kit man is busy going box to box. You've got a pair of boots, you've got two them blades. Is it? Yeah. Everyone's after their gear. Do you get the right ones here, Daz, yeah? Yeah. Stop, man, thanks, mate. Was that my squad number? Yeah. Oh. But it's the manager's job to bond together the young lads with the experienced first teamers. Yeah. Yeah, fine, got you. I'm gonna put some tape, you've got the place in. You can tell me to put them in your tent. What are they? All the boots. All the boots. Have we got me any? Have we got me any, does it? No, it's not. Well, that's for me. That's for me. Shin pads, we don't need them. We just want what makes a tackle. Morning. Morning. How are you? 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 How are you?
just three this year. Just three this year. Yeah. Yeah. Just three. So you, went, you don't go golfing yesterday? Yeah. I didn't oh, play golf. Sunday owners got the I had a drop meal at that Monty's. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Drop me up. Yeah. I had a I sent it back. It's just that you bought and I said it's no good. That's not a Monty's, I don't know Monty's, is it? No, no. I was wondering that. It's just a place off. The nag with three season is to get him up to a fitness level, um, just short of matches, and uh, hopefully get through without any injuries. But you have to play matches to get match fit, and we'll do that as well, obviously. <laughs> it's important to have a high fitness level to play any sport. The football's no different. Another vital member of the squad at Burnley is assistant manager, Sam Ellis. This is the start of my ninth year with him and uh, you can't work that long for somebody if you don't enjoy it and you haven't had some success. What do you like to work with on a day-to-day -day basis? I mean, you must know him incredibly well now. Well, you know where you stand, you know exactly what he wants um, and you try and get on with it to the best of your ability. Um, and some days you do it better than others. There you go, lad. OK, you're welcome. What's the trick when it comes to being a good manager? Um, but it, it depends on the person and the club, but mostly good managers know what they want, know how to get it out of their players, um, and the players know where they stand with them. Hey, go backwards and fall over. That'd be a shame. <laughs> You'll find it hard to beat Gawthorpe Hall as a stately backdrop, but the players' minds have to stay focused on the long, slow process of building up to match fitness. Yeah. He pumped sugar in right, instead. Right, instead of so it's, it's a mess, really, you know. Yeah. Well, I have to gel them together. I need to do a lot of uh, work on the training ground once I get the fitness levels up. We'll, all, we'll start that right away. But the team play side of it and all the rest of it, that has to be done and it has to be done properly. I formulate a, a team in my mind and uh, which way I'm going to play. Although we have to be able to play different formations, different styles, depending on what. So all that has to be done as well. So it's uh, a busy time. Get them feet up, get them feet up, knock it. Get them up, get them up, Branchy. Another member of the coaching staff, Ronnie Jepson, demands more and more effort. I don't want these poles knocking over. Everyone knows someone not too far away is always watching, waiting for his turn. Stan very often keeps his distance and, and, and lets his coaching staff get on with the, 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 the minute by minute stuff. Well, it's all done beforehand. He'll know exactly what they're doing, um, he'll have told them what he wants. Um, and he gets involved himself quite a lot when the uh, season gets underway um, and the football comes out. Um, and I don't know, m not many people would know this, but Stan's one of the best and the highest marked coaches to come out of the show. Sometimes you do it tactically, sometimes you do it um, verbally, and uh, he can do it either way, and he's good at it. What gets up his nose? Um, anything that doesn't go like clockwork. But training for footballers these days isn't confined to the pitch. Burnley's players have to swim before they can walk in these pool sessions. Some, of course, will always try to make a splash. But life in the wet lane does help mend the muscles. Oh, and Remember, someone not too far away is always watching.
just when you got dry, the gaffer sends you out in the rain to loosen up the legs. The players are finishing what's called the factory run. And just as Stan clocks on to step up the pace. Yeah, there's British summer time, eh? Pouring down. Next, it's on to another crucial aspect of the training schedule. Ball skills come under another pair of watchful eyes, belonging to Mick Doherty. Stan also takes great interest in the progress of the kids. Cash is tight, so it'd be a huge bonus if one or two of Terry Pashley's youth squad flowed through the ranks. But the present day squad still needs strengthening, so the mobile phone never stops ringing. The pace for the seniors is starting to get tough. And that phone's also feeling the heat. They say there's no gain without pain. But surely sometimes even Stan would just love to switch off. Yet, for one part of the job, he needs just a voice. A strong voice. No, a very strong voice. All right, you have got to keep hold of that ball. You've got to get off that line and help them somehow. OK, play. Start. Well done, Ben! Well done, John! Well done, Edgy! Keep playing! Play on! Chaffee, can't you see him? Get on that ball, get on that ball, Chaffee. Play, play. Right. Go on, Right. Go on, 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 Two, three, four, ten. I'm still looking. Against that goal. Against that goal. Play in! Great lads! Get up on the halfway line! Westy! Muro! That's more like! Right green! Let's go again! Young granddaughter Olivia, Ollie to her friends, helps Stan escape the management pressure. Every summer, his players take part in a challenge match against their cricketing neighbours. More a game of two pints than two halves. Anderson, and the but it's a valuable chance for the players to relax. Some choose to play, others prefer for once to sit on the bench alongside the fans, patiently waiting for a whole new ball game. With new signings on show, it's a good moment to find out the chairman's opinion of Stan's style of management. What sort of manager would you say he was? Obviously he's a disciplinarian. Obviously I think he has to have control. 
I think he's honed his methods in from all his experience over the past 25 years. And he has a formula now that he works to, and all in all, he's been very successful with it. How difficult has it been in the last 18 months or so because of all the financial restraints? He's operating within a very tight straitjacket, isn't he? He is, and uh, you know, from sort of three years of going forward, and uh, we had to sort of almost uh, get a, a survival strategy in place. Having said that, I mean, he's certainly worked on the shoestring successfully at uh, places like Berry. So Stan gets his budget. That's what he's got to work to. This is our wage bill for this season. Um, and then that's up to him. Now, if you thought Dean West was just a defensive fullback, think again. He's pretty decent at coming forward with a bat. Fred, as he's known, and Stan, go back a bit. I think I was his first signing at, at, uh, at Berry, like I took over there uh, at a time when we was, uh, you know, near the bottom of the third division. And they just totally transformed things, you know, around at, at Berry and, and made him a success. Uh, which, you know, uh, then he came on to, to Burnley after that, after that success there. How does he manage it? I think he picks uh, hungry players who, uh, who are determined to succeed. Uh, you know, it looks it looks at them qualities in players that uh, you know uh, it's just a work ethic and you know get the best out of, of, of what you've got. Sam tells me he's, he's unpredictable, and in many ways that that again is a strength because you don't know how he's going to react. Exactly, I, I've been with him, I played under him for seven years, uh, and I still don't know what he's going to say from one day to the next. But you know football inside out. I mean, can he get this team and this club into the Premiership? I don't see why not. Uh, we've got a, a good squad of players now. You know, he's adding to it, to, you know, through the summer and gradually. Uh, and as I say, we can get one or two more players in, and there's a lot of players available of good standing. Uh, they played in the first division before and Premier League, uh, and, and get a good team spirit going. You know, anything can happen. But the view from the pavilion isn't good. The cricketers gain handsome revenge for last season's shock win by the footballers. It's enough to drive a man to drink. A very warm welcome to the drum, a pub on the outskirts of Burnley. Like many of us after a tough day at work, Stan and his staff like nothing better than sampling the beer and banter at the bar. How important is it that they, they and you get a chance to unwind a bit? Dead important. Um, for me, I can come in other paint. For the lads, it's uh, a bit more difficult for them. Alcohol's off the uh, menu, really. Like tonight was an ideal opportunity after the cricket at 7 o'clock when I finished. Bring the stuff up. I can buy them a couple of beers, now we can get off. Something to eat, a good night's rest, and ready again tomorrow to crack on. New goalkeeper. Chadwick's come in, hmm. all starting to take shape? I still need more players, I still need three or four more players yet. Uh, Chaddy can't play till the specialist says so, because he's had an operation on his, uh, on his jaw. Um, I need a centre-back, I need another couple of midfield players, and maybe another strike, I need another four or five players. Which okay. best players cost a lot of money? We get 700 grand a year, Premiership's worth 28 mil. Plus, so that tells you. Premiership's a premiership. The rest of us, we have to uh, try, try and try and get into the big league. So, the stage is set. Turf Moor looks a treat. A stadium undoubtedly fit for the premiership. Burnley's always been a football mad town. At an open day for the fans, even the youth team players are sought out for a signature. Thousands of players have prowled along this corridor over the years.
and hundreds have hated the time they've been forced to spend in here. Injury can wreck a player's career, but thankfully, early season niggles are the main problem. How is it, Art? All right, yeah. So after that feels okay, does it? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Washing your own drainage. Oh, that's wrong. Just leave Victoria alone. Should I get the drawing straight? Has he signed that in the car? Should be costing us. You're already costing us a lot of money, this lad. Medical gear. Who? You. Okay, just press in against my hands. It's more than one thingy there, like. Yeah, how does that feel? It feels miles easier. Good. You know what I mean? You're on this side, you know what I mean? It's like really Still not as strong, though. Push him again. Push him again. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Keep pushing now, relax. Push in now against my hands. Hang on. That's not bad, is it? It's not too bad, no. Better than it was. Oh. It's still right. niggling, you still feel it though, Sauce. Ah, there. Keep going. Physio Ian Liversidge has a vital role alongside Stan. There's a lot of delicate decisions to, to be made. But Stan's very, very good. He's, um, he will listen to medical advice and he'll take on board what we're saying. At the end of the day, it's the player's decision whether he plays or not. We would never force him into the situation where he has to play. Uh, if he said he's not fit, then, then he's not fit. I can guide them, and obviously sometimes some players will play when they're not 100% fit. It's my job to keep them fit when they're injured. That means uh, anything from uh, just doing upper body work if they can't if they can't run to cycling swimming then eventually getting them back to running and then progressing them through into football situations and giving them back back into training and stan as a, as a character to work with i would say so <laughs> he's, i've worked with a few and he's uh, he is a character yeah yeah he knows what he wants and uh, he, he, he goes, goes about it and, and gets it, you know. I think he gets the best uh, he can out of, out of the players he's got. Uh, there are some, some moments where we're all, ooh, you know, but, uh, but I mean, in general, he's, um, he's fine to move. Even after all these years, you can sense Stan's anticipation. The ball's over all now, we're all right. You follow me round when I'm working as well. But the smile will soon vanish. The pitch has a disease. Go over the place, look. See this, Chairman, this ain't good. This ain't gonna last long, is it? What's Clive say? I'm not sure. It's, well, it's, 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 it's uh, that's poor, that. That's not as good as both up, Chairman. I knew he got a disease. Disease, got a disease. You did say something. Well, stop it, Mike! Stop it, Glenn! Stop it, Tony! Good, 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 good. They did tell me what it was and the, that they're going to spray it or something. But the other way of doing that really is to cut that out and put some, yeah, put yeah, some put turf in. Yeah, yeah. What have you done with your hair? Have you had a fancy hairdo? <laughs> This isn't going to last two minutes, this. Hopefully, there won't be a problem with the new keeper. Brian the Great Dane is nicknamed the Beast, and you can see why.
I need to get a shape as well as, okay? I'll let you go with this. I'll let you go with this for three or four. Then I'm going to bring in the fullbacks and the wide players, okay? Just be aware. So, let's see how the beast survives between the sticks. For every beast, there's a beauty. Lisa Camby and new husband Mick of Burnley season ticket holders. Where better to have your wedding reception than at the ground? Come on then. For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer. They've got a photograph for the album that every other claret couple can only dream of. Where do you want? Just around. Yeah, I'll get out. Big fellas up the back. Guys. No tubes as well. Okay, eyes to me. Yeah. This way, lad. Good. Straight. Big smiles. Cheers, thanks very much. Cheers. Hope there were no stud marks on the dress, Lisa. <laughs> Meanwhile, the beast is getting under the feet. Can I have to drain in? Hundreds of fans won't leave without all the autographs. And you know the beast is starting to feel the strain. But someone else has his hands full. Are you smiling? Are you going away? Honeymoon, isn't it? Mexico. When? You've got a very pretty dress on, isn't it? Mexico. It sounds magic. But Burnley are also off on their travels. The Clarets head for this year's International Isle of Man Football Festival, knowing they face testing warm-up games against Steve McMahon's Blackpool and 3rd Division Wrexham. So how do players spend a two-and-a-half-hour sea crossing? Below deck, there's plenty of tension at the inevitable card school. Diamonds are a Big Dane's best friend when he's confronted by Little, Blake and Weller. Others prefer a bit of privacy. No chance. What are you filming here? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 
For someone well used to being in the spotlight, Douglas offers the manager the chance to get away and work on perhaps his defence. It's been a smooth journey so far, but in under 24 hours, Burnley will line up against Blackpool in their opening match of the tournament. A bit of a culture shock for Luke Chadwick after his Champions League ventures with United. Bring your bags down the back, lad. But at this level, everyone has to carry their own bags. The road to success, and ideally that means the Premiership, starts here. In his five years at Burnley, Stans steered the club to within sight of English football's elite. It's an impressive track record after spells at nine other league clubs. Stan knows that for the next nine months, he and his players won't be too far from the headlines for one reason or another. Uh, yeah, it's big enough, it's, it's going to be interesting. With a match that night, the morning session will have to be reasonably light. But this is a world away from Gawthorpe or Turf Moor. And before a man can manage, he has to mark out his territory. Sam, Sam, put that post on that cone there. Trials and tribulations of a first division football manager. Mark your own picture. That's it. Fetch that up under there. Question, thank you, gents. Well done, fellas. Careful, Ian. Thank you. Good in. This will help us appreciate what we've got, I think. Looks like Big Sam is playing the holding role in the middle of the park. But just what is he holding? Meanwhile, the dock is in full cry. Round the corn, good. Get round that corn, knocker! Get round the corn! Round the corn! Shot with one. Much up Love it, Mo. Well done, you two. Brilliant. Where you go? Is Rochi going to sit and keep a back four intact, or is Rochi going to get from there out to his face? It's that easy. Those are the two questions. This is the art of a 4 4 2, as opposed to a 4 a 3, a 2, and you out there. You understand? Right, let's have a look at it, Let me see if I can make it talk. Yes, stay out, Big man can rest. Big Gareth can rest. Grantie, come and play wide right for me. 
Clive, get down, give me ten double foot jumps. Too busy talking and not listening. Get them done. Come on. And come in at left back, please, Clive. Get up his arm, Get, 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 get. Please don't go. Come back. Steady, that's fine. Make sure. Don't be. Go back. Stay there, Fred. Go back. Don't be like that. Move with it. Move with it. You mark me. Mark me. I'm you. Lay it across. Go on. This is what you do. Mark me. Yes, Fred. Yes, Fred. Yes, Fred. Give it him back. Come on, Moore. Come so. In a nutshell, how would you sum Stan Turnant up? Um, a nice, a nice fella. Best, he can get a bit stressed out sometimes. And, but he's someone that I've got a lot of respect for. You know, I've I've always had problems with with authority in football. With following that with John Aldridge at Tranmere, Gary Megson at Stockport, and you know the gaffer would have been quite easy for for anyone not to take me. You know, with, with my with my past. Um, well, Gaffer, you know, took a gamble on me, and um, I've got a lot of respect for the Gaffer. This season's been a lot harder. You know, ask any of the lads; it's been very hard this season. Last season was a bit more chilled, but I think you know the Gaffer wasn't very happy with it. You know, especially with we had a good cup run, and probably the last 10, 12 games, we just petered off, you know, so so quickly. And I think that's you know, one of the reasons why it is a bit harder this year. The Gaffer wants us to be going into the season, you know, very fit. How astute and a, a tactician is he? I th I'd put him right up there with all with, with the coaches I've worked with. You know, when when the gaffer talks, you really take notice because you have to know how he wants you to play. Um, and you know, he has got a very good football brain. He's been in the game for a long time, so he should have. You know, so but he, you know, some of the stuff that he comes out with, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. You know, you're always learning, and he's he's definitely a good person to learn from. No, we don't. What's it like if you get it wrong? Oh. <laughs> that is a loaded question. Uh, probably like most other people, I think, you know, I've had a few run-ins with a gaffer. But, you know, the, the underlying thing is he, there's always respect there. Come he's a very strong character, and, and I, you know, and I've got a lot of respect for them. You know, he's always there for the lads. The lads are in trouble, or the lads need something sorted out, and he'll always be there f for the lads. And, and to me, you know, that, that counts for a hell of a lot. So it's back to the hotel. The Blackpool game is now just around the corner. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thanks a lot. Get free towels, Rob. Right. Are we going for this one? The strikers prefer to sink, or try to sink, a few putts. Golf is many a footballer's other great obsession. Good footwork, eye on the ball, and hit the target. Well, nearly every time. So for Stan, his players, and especially the fans, it's game on. People say, you know, you cut him and he bleeds claret and blue. He is um, Burnley through and through. He's got the passion, and so is the, his backroom staff, Sam and Ronnie and all the rest of them. I can't knock it at all. Hey, this is where it starts, lad. This is where it starts. Come on, then. If you have any problems at all and he niggles out like that, I need to know. All right? He's doing pretty well. Hopefully better than next season, getting the playoffs. I reckon this year. <laughs> this season, yep. Yeah, he's got his young players and we're going for it. Yeah. <laughs> We've been through it, I don't need to go through it again. It's about fitness, effort, endeavour, pass the ball, and above everything else, enjoy it. OK? Come on, come on, come on. Also, the rules apply for bookings and all the rest of it, so I expect you to be sensible, all right? He's created an atmosphere now at the club that uh, people now expect success. You're never quite sure what he's up to, but he always seems to deliver the goods. Yeah, top man. I haven't gone through your mark as we said plays and things. Long throw from Flynn, you've got Steve Davis and people. I expect you to sort that out yourselves. We'll go through that at a later date, but I want a clean sheet and I want a very good performance from you, okay? You're listening to me. 
Yeah. Okay. We talk, no going shoulder. Come on, guys. Just one another five minutes. Yeah. If you want to get a crack and get on with it. Are you ready to go? People forget what the club was like uh, before Stan arrived and just uh, how far he's taken the club in those few short years. Big fan of Stan, uh, absolute star, best thing that's happened to Burnley Football Club for what, five, six years, terrific, yeah. Let's look well, come on, you two, conduct that orchestra in there. Get some place for you in there, organise it with Glenn, get him in there, I'll get knocked in. Let's look, guys. Come on, boys. Let's look, son. Hundreds of fans make the trip to the Douglas Bowl for what's always a tasty Lancashire derby. And all the talk of a clean sheet is sadly soon forgotten. But notice Blackpool are playing in black. It was a f mile offside. A mile offside. Will you wear that? Black well, you better get them changing because we can't tell the difference between you. You can't wear the same colour as they're wearing. What are you going to do about it? We're passing the ball to you. Well, they're complaining. The players want you to change the top. It's unfortunate. Well, it'll be more unfortunate if I take my team off, won't it? Well, let's do something about it. You can't play with the same colour. You're going to have to do something. You'd be all right with that on. Good lad. Brunzi, get him to join in. Fire. Come on, Chappy. Come here, listen to me. See that Wellens in midfield? Seven. Walking away there, yeah? Yep. You go on, I want you to look after yourself. You got me message? Yep. Hey? Good lad. At half time, Burnley find themselves still a goal down. For the second half, Stan moves from the bench to the boardroom. And he's rewarded with a better second half show. <laughs> Young chap Low makes his presence felt in midfield. And it doesn't take long for young McMahon to get his own back. But in the dying moments of the game, Burnley rescue the match. they force a penalty shootout. And cometh the hour, bring on the beast. Jensen becomes a hat-trick hero. His three saves give Gareth Taylor the chance to clinch the points. The fans seem to have taken to the beast. <laughs> He's a big lad. Well, you know, they, uh, they have their favourites in one thing or another, but... It was a good workout, uh, and there's a lot of things that we can brush up on. Uh, certainly, we need to play some more matches for the match fitness. Come on, we're on our way to the final. Come on. 
A bit optimistic there, Glenn. Burnley missed the final after losing to Wrexham and beating Rotherham. Time to head for home. Young Ollie once more provides Stan with the perfect distraction ahead of a big game. I think she likes the camera, doesn't she? It's a Sunday morning friendly against Leeds United. But the match build-up is well rehearsed. Sam soon arrives. Won a couple and lost one. We've done all right, it was all right. Just follow around to your right. But today, another guest is being guided into Kath Turnant's kitchen. Leeds boss Peter Reid and Stan are old mates. Not bad, are we? Yeah. We played at uh, Bristol City. Oh, well, that was a saw that. When was that? Last Saturday. Yeah. And uh, your some work to do with them, though. Yeah. Conversation between the pair and Sam is dominated, not surprisingly, by one topic. I want to go to Milan. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Depression when he first went to Celtic and couldn't play the deck. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You've got to start a high tempo, pass the ball. Don't be frightened to keep the ball. If there's any danger, it ain't right for you. Side foot, up we go, Graham. All right? And close eyes. Come on, then. Enjoy. Oh, Best of luck. Best of luck, boys. Come on, lads. Sam, let me manage it the way well, I do. But don't book him, nobody. We're having a game of footy. Don't book him. We're having a game of football. Shake hands and get on with it. Weller. Good, good. Well done, ref. Well done. Play. Play. Ref. Well done. If Viduka comes off short, okay, go with him. If you're not, if you're not, then send Rochi in and you give a cover there. Do you understand? Because if he comes off there and turns, you're banging the shit. And vice versa on the other side, you've gone off with him, right? I'm picking the bad points now. You've gone off with him, right? You're right up his arse, he's held the ball. So he's going that way, you go the other way. And then somebody says, turn round, Mark. So he turns round and you're 10 yards away. Go all the way with him. Get him back there. And if he plays back there and it goes over the top, we've closed ranks. Do you understand that? From your kick, that's where it started. You kicked the ball and you miscued it. Right? How's the concentration? The way you kick it, a side foot will do. I'm not having a go at you. All I'm telling you is that if you don't come up as a four, we've got a mountain to climb on the pitch. Arthur, if he tells you to come up, Get up, the four of you, and get up quick. Come off that line, 
and catch a ball or two for me. Let's start from the back. Squeezed, good attention, and what you'll find is that with a striker, as good strikers, they're always pulling away, always pulling away, trying to occupy a centre back and a full back. Mo, you good? Yeah. Okay, son, what's up? Nothing, nothing. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Doing well, doing smashing. Come on, then, let's go and enjoy it. Get the line In the second half, the defensive line was much better. And two penalties helped Burnley run out, convincing 4 2 winners. A major morale booster. But there was a price to pay an accidental bad facial injury to Gareth Taylor. The kind of problem stands desperate to avoid. Robbie! Come on! Get up the middle with Alan Moore! Just take it easy. Take it easy. Stay up! Cheers, thanks. Back to this. Have a good one, Smithy. Have a good season, mate. Wish you well, lad. He's a football person, uh, good humour. Wears his heart on his sleeve. But what you see is what you get, and what you get is very, very good. They're England internationals you're playing against, you know. Mate, get your cap before long, chappy. <laughs> a flat one, eh? Like that. You know when it gets towards the end of the game and you're 4-2 up? Yeah. I still need you to keep that nice yeah. tight four. Because you're still getting loads of ball yeah. there when you come in. And you can play road too wide, you can play somebody down the channel, you can go and do your thing with Robbie. It's not a problem, is it, for you? So that is a massive thing that we can improve on. Other than that, other than that, You've done ever so well. You set your own standards. You go to Accrington on Wednesday, and I want to see the same endeavour. They ain't Leeds United. They ain't f***ing Birmingham City. They ain't Manchester United. It's Aki. That's what I'm looking for. A shape and a balance and a willingness. And I think he's done pretty good today. His record in football is fantastic. And um, when you, you think of the job he's done for Burnley, you know, on a, on a difficult budget, second to none. You can see where the club's come from in five years. You can certainly see where Stan wants to go. Um, whether he can do that as quickly as he wants at the present time, it remains to be seen. Stan's a certain age. We've been together for five years. I think this season we'll see as we go, but I'd be delighted if we're successful and uh, Stan can take us up there. Basically what I want to do is kind of fit through pre-season without injuries. And what's happened to Gareth means I haven't achieved that. Now I've got a smaller squad. Uh, I let a lot of players go that are uh, uh, purely for financial reasons and uh, injuries and suspensions will play a massive part in loss of form. What happened today, you've seen all the players, that's what I've got and uh, we're short. <clears throat> it's like Clive Holt said to me when I asked him last season, I'm sure he won't mind me saying so. I said, what do you expect me to do, Clive, you know, with uh, restrictions as the are? He says, oh. Just uh, we're established first division side now, Stan. You know, maybe the playoffs and the odds to journey into the Premiership. Oh, well. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. <laughs> Sometimes you can do it tactics. I just missed my footing on there then, and I got size tens. <laughs> Promotion. Uh, champions. Really? Uh, no. You won't get it. Yeah, I stick it out there. Um yeah, so it's uh need us do it again. <laughs> no, I can't get away from you. They go forever, don't they? Yeah, good. Can my missus go next three? Yeah. She never puts anything in it. No, it's good. Mine can't pass a f garage. He's God. Absolute cream. Brilliant. Best thing that happened ever. Hold on, do it again. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. nine ten. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 Okay. 50. Look at the size of you. What have you been eating, many burgers? Money. <laughs> <laughs> Get him on the camera. Have a look at that. <laughs>